Hello everybody, Becky here. Right, I'm, I'm now off to do a little experiment which involves me, my vision camera, and the Rose and Crown Public House. What was sadly torn down. Yeah, it was torn down the end of the week. And at this moment in time, this is a little experiment, but um, I have to be careful, you see. Yeah, this is a little experiment that I'm going to use my Necrophonic app. Julie's going to use her Necrophonic app. And she's going to ask me questions for my, for my Necrophonic. And I'm going to ask questions, see if it comes through on hers. But um, at this moment in time, we're actually running alive. So if I can get just up here... And then what I should do is that uh, I should turn you guys round and you will see what is left at the pub. Right, so as, as we know, yeah, there's the wall. There's the wall. And there is the rest of the pub, which is no more. But it's very sad, very sad. So right, I need to turn my phone on. I'll turn it on. I need to just message Jilly. Let him know that I'm outside. Thank you. Right. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. I have a date you're on. So right, I've now just messaged Julie. She should have got up. But I have to be careful because as you can see what I'll show you in a moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you hear or see anything, let's have a look. Let's bring it in. Uh, if you can see there, wherever you are, down there, that is me, that is. So, if you see along there, that is where the pub is standing. Where that rubble is. So yeah. So the start of that rubble there is where the last bit was. So it's just one big lot now. And that could be our kid. Right. 
and the microphonic is on. And I've not just got reply to Julie. Yeah, I just want to do one last video before they. I knew it's been pulled down. I just want to do one last video before it did get pulled down. But Right, so what I'm now going to do is put my phone on airplane mode. Because with the Necrophonic you can use it without no Wi-Fi. So if you see or hear anything people, just put it in the comments below. Step. Yeah. And it's on. And the time is now one o'clock, I think, or ten, ten quarter past one a.m. So I'm calling out to any spirits here. Can you see that cat? It's a cat. It's dead life. Yeah, I said I was shitting on. Yeah, and I also have my K2 meter, which is there. Hello spirits, is there anyone want to speak to me? Is there any witches here? Who was... Who did their witchcraft in the Raising Crown public house? What's your name? Is there anyone here want to speak to me? Is Who spoke to me in my kitchen the other day? Said it's gone or it's home when I was looking out the window. Who's doing a live with me and using the necro box, necrophonic? I'm getting nothing off the K2. What's your name?
What? What's your last name? What was this pub called? How did you die? Who accused you of being a witch? What was his name? What year did you die? It was 16, that 16 what? Was you guilty of your crimes? I'm not here to judge you. I'm here so you can tell your side of the story. How was you executed? Was Matthew Hopkins, the witch finder general, also a witch? Yo. How did you... How did you murder your husband? What is your name? <laughs> Who died with you? <laughs> Sorry about this, people. I have to move because there's a gang of people coming. Up the road. What is your name? So there you go people, I don't know what we caught there but 
I had a couple of replies to my questions. And we'll, we'll go for it and we'll see if this experiment worked. But I weren't ready to leave. I wonder if they're gone. Nope. They're still there. I would love to stay out, people, but I'm not risking my life. Which I think you'll all agree with me. It'd be safer for me to go in. But before I go, 